The Monte Carlo Resort and Casino is operated by MGM Resorts International and boasts nearly 3,000 guest rooms, more than 100,000 square feet of gaming, over 30,000 square feet of meeting space, not to mention restaurants, shopping, and so much more. The facility operates 24-7, and keeping a facility like the Monte Carlo up and running at peak performance is not a simple task. That's why the Monte Carlo decided to upgrade its systems. We found two building automation system, and we saw a need maybe for some consolidation. So that's really what initiated the project. One of the uh, criteria we had in mind was the uh, efficiency of the system when it comes to cost control. Utilities cost, as we know, it increases on a daily basis, so we had to control it. The second one is a comprehensive system where we're looking to install that can be integrated with other systems. Siemens has a history of partnering with MGM Resorts. It installed technology and solutions for the city center in Las Vegas and helped make the MGM Grand Las Vegas one of the most efficient resorts in their portfolio. The team responded to the Monte Carlo's RFP with a proposal for a building automation solution. They believed employing DeSego CC could help reduce energy consumption, improve the efficiency of the operation, and provide a great return on the investment. Innovation is key, and if we're not on top of that innovation platform, we don't want to install something that's five, eight, ten years old, or we want to install something that's open. Uh, the Zigo was one of the systems we looked into because of the open protocol. It's a communications protocol that can be interfaced with any other system. Before the installation of the Siemens systems, we were having problems with controls. By combining all the systems, we accomplished more and better control of the system. The system itself is a smart system because you can work with the system from any part of the building. You don't have to be at the central plant to log on in a computer. You can use a portable device. With DeSego CC, the Monte Carlo is able to monitor and control the entire facility from one user interface. And there is 24-7 alarm monitoring. Information and visibility are critical to efficient operations, and DeSego CC provides dynamic trending and reporting tools. This data from the DeSego building management system helps the Monte Carlo staff make proactive decisions. We had 28,000 square feet of new area that was newly constructed at the Monte Carlo. So the metering came into place and the reports we get are very helpful, not only because we know what the front cost us when it comes to energy, but also those numbers were used for future projects by the design center to be able to write specs on new restaurants. It's giving me information for future projects, absolutely. Since the Siemens DeSego CC solution was installed, the Monte Carlo has benefited in many ways. There has been significant overall energy savings, which is helping MGM meet their goal of reducing their building portfolio energy use by 20% in 10 years. They have been able to automate tasks that were labor intensive, and airflow and air quality has been improved. We targeted about a two-year payback, 50% ROI on the project, and now that we have the system employed, active, we're seeing and estimating probably about 1.6 year payback now. And so most people, I think, would look at BMS and say, or building automation, that might be difficult to, to really drive a super quick ROI. But for this project in particular, we saw an opportunity to grab a lot of energy savings. We saw about 9% decrease on the energy electrical costs because of this system, because now we can utilize the outside air and be more efficient. The Siemens DeSego CC Building Automation System Solution has helped the Monte Carlo provide a better and more comfortable customer experience. And it will support future plans for this ever-changing, always entertaining, world-class resort and casino. I can see an integration with outside lights, so they're automated and they go on and off based on scheduling. I can see integration with convention area when a ballroom is occupied or when a ballroom is not occupied, those are the things in the future that I'll be looking to uh, do some uh, work and integrate them with the new system we have. I do see this as a pilot. We have some properties that are well over 25 years old and some have the original operation systems and they're doing the work they need to do now 
but we definitely have that opportunity. I think we have a great pathway to do more of these.